All right, guys, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis on server 68. So we have uh, Battle of Shalons tomorrow. I had a video yesterday previewing it. I just wanted to give you guys uh, some tips and strategies you could use in Shalons because some of you, it'll be your first time. Some of you, maybe you just didn't do well last time. And some of you, maybe you are you did very well. And these tips are not for you then, or you could always improve and listen to a few things. So anyways, here is my tips that I would uh, suggest to people. So basically, this is the map, right? I went over this yesterday. And the first thing you're going to want to do is decide how you enter the game, right? How you enter the Battle of Shalons. What I would suggest is if you're a smaller player on your team, don't enter right away. Because the first thing that's going to happen, I know me, what I do. So I'm trying to give people tips of how to not play against me or aggressive players, larger players you're going to face. So what I do, when I enter, I put this map on and I sit and I wait for one of these buildings to turn half red. Right? If that gets red or that gets red, I immediately port over. So you want to avoid being that person who's going to get hit. So arrive a little bit late. Let the other team's smaller players go to the buildings and try to capture them and let them get hit and give up points. Or if you come in early, when you first port, don't port into a building area. Just go move over into this area, this area, an empty area. No one's looking there. No one's going to find you there. So you can do that. But I think it's better if you're not quick at ghosting. Just wait a little bit. Wait two, three minutes and then enter. Okay? Uh, so that's what I would suggest for the smaller players. And don't go to the buildings. Because as soon as it turns red, you got to march out. You're stuck. You can't port. You're going to be getting hit. Now, uh, conversely, if you're a larger player on your team, you should be getting in early and you should be running around to those buildings exactly as I said. Just take a look, see which ones turn red, and just port right over and start hitting the smaller players. And because, like I said, there's medical tents, so be aggressive early if you're a larger player. Just hit people as soon as there's a march out. You, in some cases, you don't even have to worry. Like, I don't even scout much in Chalance because I know there's the medical tents early to take advantage of. So, if I see a 700, 1 billion player, I'll just hit him. I'll just go up, hit him, hope that I catch his horses, hope that I get a good power swap, and then I move on. And then I move on, and I do the same thing, and I do the same thing again. And then I'm looking for medical tents the whole time, and I'm trying to heal those troops back that I was aggressive with early. Because you know what? Someone's going to use that medical tent, and it might as well be me. So later on, I'll scout and be a little bit more... Uh, defensive and protect my troops because I'm going to be anticipating that people will be attacking me and rallying me. So I want those troops on defense as well. But early on, it's about offense and being aggressive and then getting those tents, medical tents. So <clears throat> another thing that you should be doing if you're a team. So after that initial five minutes of the bigs running around and abusing the little ones, hive up with your team. So now you have to pick a location where your team wants to hive up. And the best areas, the biggest teams are, I, I can tell you right now, in each game, one team is going to go right here, kind of in the middle of the rally hall and the blessing tower, and they're going to try to hold both. And then another team is going to go right here and try to do the exact same thing. And then the other teams, sometimes another team will go here too and fight them for it. And sometimes they won't. So it's up to you, depending on your size, your opponent's size, what you want to do in that sort of situation. Sometimes it's a strategy just to play. There's more points available on defense, right? Because you are stronger on defense. You can reinforce each other. So sometimes it's not a bad idea. Hey, I see two teams here. Why not make it a third? Let's just start getting hit and get our points. So decide where you want to hive up. And it doesn't even have to be around one of those halls. If you don't think you can hold it, Maybe you hive up around portals and try to hold the portals. Maybe, and uh, play. watch out for these, right? You really want these buffs. So if you see a buff coming, 
talk about it with your team and be like, we got to get that. They are worth fighting for because in some cases you could heal 15% of all your team's troops. Or maybe you have a really big guy who's 6 billion and he's now down to 2 billion. It'll heal half of his wounded. So he'll get almost all of them back if he picks a personal 50%. Now, I honestly would always go team, especially in this team event. But there could be a rare circumstance where you would go personal if you have a really big guy who's down on power and it's worth it. So other things to keep in mind here are be aware of what the total score is so if you go to the map if you go to the scoreboard you're gonna see up here right you're gonna see the score now this is at the start of a game so it's zero 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 for everybody but you're gonna see and you want first place because that's five points but maybe you can't get first place or maybe it's really close for first place so what you want to do is let's pretend that this team and this team are neck and neck so what you want to do, don't attack your opponent who's fighting you for placement. Pick on the other people for points. Because you get points on defense too, right? So you could be attacking the third and fourth place team. And maybe the attacks aren't going so well. But you're still getting points from killing them. And they're getting points too. But you're not giving points to the, your rival who's going for the same place as you. So that's something to keep in mind. It's about position on the battlefield. You want first or second for sure, because that's five and three points, but you obviously want first, but you don't want last. So don't give points away to the team that you're competing with for your placement. Now, another thing you can do before you enter the battle, some of you already see your matchups, right? So for me, because we... Uh, just selected our time we don't see our matchup yet tomorrow we'll see and at that time I'll be able to take a look and be like oh okay I think we're the strongest team or I think we're the second strongest team and decide as a team if we want to avoid another team and don't give them any points fight the other people and that's a very good strategy to, to do now another thing is Leave it all out on the table. It is best for you if your entire team finishes with zero troops left because there's no negative points, right? There, no, like, there's no, hey, our team scored 28,000 and the other team scored 35,000. That was terrible for us. No, you're, if, you're, if it's not going to affect your placement in the standings, if you're going to finish second regardless, who cares? Go get all the points you can because like I said, there's five points for first place, three points for second, one point for third, zero for last, but the tiebreaker is how many points you're going to get. So you want to score as many points as you can as well. So there's no reason to leave points at home, at home points on the table, your troops at home, unless you're in a situation where hey, it's really close between first and second or second and third, and we don't want to give up points to our rival who's fighting us for that position. So we're just going to hold pat, hold steady, and go collect our five points and move on to the next round. But if that's not the case, just leave it all out and just keep fighting. So those are all my tips. Feel free to leave your own tips in the comments section for other teams. There's lots of people who are just playing right now for the first time. Lots of servers just opened up in the last few months. They didn't get a chance to play Shalaz. This is, an, it's, guys, it's so awesome. This is my favorite event in all of Ebony. It's a team all-star. It is great. You're going to love it. Whether you do good or bad, you're going to love it, and you'll get better next time. But leave, leave other uh, hints in the comments section. Uh, join my Discord channel, post in the comment section, and I'll reply with the Discord channel. I can't really post it because it expires all the time. So I'll just say that you're interested and I'll uh, give you an invite. And uh, check out the comment section for other tips. And uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment.